early railroad retirement in a recession? Let's have a look. Welcome everyone to the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today we're going to talk about uh, leaving the railroad for early retirement, right? So this is uh, individuals that uh, are thinking about leaving early and uh, you know kind of the, some of the trigger points that they want to be thinking about. This is different than um, you know uh, being asked to leave the railroad by, uh, by, by the company. So this is kind of a different strategy saying, well, you know, maybe I kind of get nervous about this. Maybe I'll just leave and retire. So I just kind of want to think about uh, some, of the things that, some of the things that you should be going over in your mind as we approach this. So let's kind of take it over here on the right side. So um, this is what I call my no-brainer category, right? You're close to retirement, okay? You're right near retirement. You're probably, you know, a couple months away, maybe a year away, that type of thing. You've prepared financially for retirement, right? You've, you've saved up money in the 401k. You've followed everything that John's told you to do. So you, you, you have a good little nest egg put away. So you're prepared financially for retirement. And then the railroad comes to you with a uh, buyout package or a severance. So uh, because, you know, let's face it, the railroads are reducing headcount. So they've come with this buyout package. And you're right near retirement anyway. So that's the no-brainer. You might as well take it. Uh, you know, because uh, you're, you're pretty much set anyway. But let's, let's look at what everybody else has to go through when you think about this, right? So from this category, we, there's a lot of decisions, a lot of thinking going on here, right? Because you're nervous about, well, I could just, you know, leave the railroad and, and retire early. But, you know, what's the implications of that? So here's kind of the way I, the thought process uh, that you might want to approach it, right? So you got to say, well, I'm giving up a paycheck, right? Because I'm not in retirement. So I'm giving up that paycheck and that's income right and now we're in a recession right so the job market's scarce so even though i think i could get a job you're not sure because the job market's scarce so that's that's a that's a variable so you don't know about that and uh you know you have to understand what your severance is going to be right if they offer you a severance or a buyout uh you know most companies are two weeks for every year uh that you work and then usually it's up to six months uh, of severance is how most companies. So those are the kind of things that you want to think about. Uh, and then on the other end, let's get to the financial side of it, right? The expenses, right? Because of the amount of money not coming in right now. So what's your current spending plan, right? How are you spending that money every month, right? Could you cut it a little bit? Uh, you know, reduce uh, on the spending plan. And then you're going to have additional expenses, right? You're going to have COBRA coming in. So COBRA, right, is that insurance, uh, health insurance that the uh, your company will offer you. Well, they were uh, paying a lot of those premiums. All those premiums are on you now, and I think even plus 2% on top of that. So uh, if anybody's shopped around for health care lately, that, that can get very expensive. So really got to crunch those numbers on the spending plan, throw in those new uh, variables like the COBRA or, uh, you know, if you're going to go out onto the exchanges and look for uh, health insurance. But that's a, that's a big factor because the uh, bridge to uh, Medicare, right? And then you have your income. Well, you, you know, if you're not going to be working, okay, you're going to have to have some money coming in from somewhere. Uh, because you're, you're thinking of taking that early retirement. Now, if you take that early retirement, let's say at uh, uh, your tier one, tier two, if you don't have your 30 years, it's going to be reduced starting at 62 years old. And that's a 35% uh, haircut on that. So that's, that's got to be factored in. Uh, some of you might have pensions, right? That's going to be reduced. Remember, all those multipliers on those uh, on the tier two and the pensions all are with years, right? And even your tier one is uh, based off 35 years. But those these other two are uh, those years really multiply the uh, the outpay on that, so they're going to be reduced. And then you say, well, I got a 401k. Now, if you're retiring before 59 and a half. There's a 10% penalty on your 401k. So taking money out of there, uh, not only will you have to be paying ordinary income tax, they're going to throw another 10% on top of you, on top of that. So uh, these are the things that you want to think about. You have to really understand. Um, and the key part here is right in a recession. So uh, when you make this decision, this might be a decision that you might have to last with for a while, 
all right, until uh, the job market picks back up. So it might not be something where, oh, I'll retire. If it doesn't work out, just go get a better a job. No, the key word, once again, is recession. So these are the things that you want to think about. Make that decision. All right, so I hope you found this uh, useful. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or comments. I'll try to help you as much as I can. Uh, in the meantime, everyone, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, it's growing, and it's great. I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate you sharing it with your uh, colleagues. I get a lot of great comments off of that, so I do enjoy that. It gives me some good topics also. In the meantime, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody.